In this video, I will explain Protocol Studio which is a function to simplify device communication. The Protocol Studio function is native to the relevant communication unit. For Ethernet communication, KVXLE02 is used. For serial communication, KVXL202 or KVXL402 is used. In this video, I will explain Protocol Studio using Ethernet KVXLE02 as an example. General procedures are the same for the Ethernet communication and the serial communication. In Protocol Studio, when the data format of device to communicate with is set beforehand, the unit automatically generates commands and interprets the received data according to the set data format. For example, this is the actual Protocol Studio setting screen which has been set according to the data format of a device. By setting beforehand like this, the unit automatically generates and transmits receives data such as the header, data, station number, and delimiter. Moreover, the unit automatically performs, without ladder code, the data send receive timing control, ASCII binary conversion, data length calculation, checksum calculation, retry after error occurrence, and other processes. Protocol Studio has two patterns of data send receive operations, which are cyclic and event. In cyclic, the data is sent received automatically and repeatedly. A ladder for data send receive is not necessary. The data is repeatedly and automatically sent received just by turning on the operation permission relay necessary to perform Protocol Studio. On the other hand, in event, the data is sent received only when the user turns on the send request. Set cyclic for the data necessary to read always such as current values. Set event to communicate only in particular timing such as when changing a set value. In this way, the communication traffic can be reduced. Next, I will explain the settings of Protocol Studio. When the Protocol Studio setting screen is opened, the screen to select, maker and Model opens. Displayed models are the ones which Keyence has set the data format and verified performance beforehand. Therefore, if the corresponding maker and model are listed, the user can start communicating just by selecting them. Even if not listed, communication becomes available after the user sets the data format. In this video, I will explain two patterns for using Protocol Studio. One is a model where the command set is preloaded into Protocol Studio. Another one is a model which the user performs the setting. Now, let's actually set with KV Studio.